As we come on the air tonight at 510 TV is learning that we will soon hear from the family of a Columbus man shot and killed by police. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Just moments ago, the family's attorney issued a statement. An officer shot and killed Donovan Lewis in the bedroom of a hilltop apartment Tuesday morning. Police were serving a search warrant and say they repeatedly asked him to come out. Lewis was unarmed and body camera video shows an officer firing a single shot the moment the doors opened. As the police investigation continues this hour, we're learning why officers wanted to arrest Lewis in the first place. 10 TV's Kevin Landers has the warrant and joins us now live from where that shooting occurred. Kevin. Well, good evening. Donovan Lewis was living here at this apartment behind me. According to court records, he has a history of domestic violence, including striking the mother of his unborn child. What is unclear tonight is why police chose Tuesday morning to arrest him here. Armed with a search warrant, Columbus police came to Donovan Lewis's apartment attempting to arrest him involving an August 10th incident involving the mother of his unborn child. According to the complaint, Lewis's girlfriend told police she's pregnant with Mr. Lewis's child. She said the two began to argue when Mr. Lewis shoved her off a chair that she was sitting in, and then she rolled down a hill. She ran to a local KFC to call police where officers, quote, noticed she had a black mark underneath her right eye. She told police Lewis had punched her in the face three to four days prior. She told police Mr. Lewis assaulting her is something that frequently happens. Records show this is not the first time Mr. Lewis has been charged with domestic violence. In April of last year, a complaint was filed against him for punching with closed fist another woman, this time his mother. According to the complaint, when the mother wouldn't let him in the house after he took something that wasn't his, he kicked the front door open. His mother told police he began punching her. In June of 2020, another complaint details how Mr. Lewis hit another woman with closed fists. When police caught him, Lewis admitted to striking her with a closed fist and was placed under arrest for assault. As for the fatal shooting of Lewis Tuesday morning, the president of the Columbus Urban League called the body camera footage gut-wrenching and is calling for a transparent investigation. Um, Mr. Lewis's video, um, the long version that I saw, was not only disturbing, but it was heartbreaking. And, um, you know, right now, you know, we're all in a position now where um, it's not about being angry, but it's, 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 it's about how do we stack hands and find solutions and keep this community calm. Now, just moments ago, the family says that a funeral services for Mr. Lewis will be held a week from Saturday. At the time of the shooting, records show that he was on probation uh, for pleading guilty to criminal mischief. He also faces a, a felony charge of handling a firearm inside of a car. Ahead at 6, we'll tell you how the community can voice their concerns about this shooting. Reporting live in West Columbus, Kevin Landers, 10TV News. Thank you, Kevin. Now, the Lewis family's attorney released a statement about an hour ago. That statement said in part, quote, this excessive and completely unnecessary force has become all too common in Columbus. We will get justice for Donovan and do everything in our power to stop these senseless killings. Donovan's family asked for peaceful support and doesn't want anyone to repeat the violence CPD showed two nights ago when they killed a son, grandson, brother, and friend. A short time ago, Congresswoman Joyce Beatty weighed in on the death of of Donovan Lewis saying, quote, I am horrified to see another young unarmed black man killed by police in our city. In this painful loss, my heart goes out to his family. I stand with the Columbus community in our calls for justice and accountability.